everybody happy new year it's 2014 and i'm really happy because guess what dental school starts for me this year I'm so happy okay 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 so in this video i'll be talking about what's on the dental admissions test the dat um this is a test that all dental schools require you at least the u.s dental schools require you to take um, in order for you to gain acceptance into their schools um, you have to do well obviously it's a test standardized test so you have to do well because everybody's taking it so you will make want to make sure that you're prepared for this exam i'm going to be telling you what's on the exam so this test um, is administered year-round and is a multiple choice test designed to measure your general academic ability comprehension of scientific information and perceptual ability and like I said all US schools dental schools require this test so the DAT is um, broken down into four segments the segments are natural um, the survey of natural sciences you have the perceptual ability which isn't taught in college at least it wasn't taught in my school um, reading comprehension and quantitative reasoning which is the math section so this test is a total of about four and a half hours um, long but which and these four and a half hours include the optional break 15 minute is an optional 15 minute break but from start to end I would estimate being at the testing center for about like five hours maybe five and a half you know depending on what time you arrive um, something to note is that you cannot bring a calculator into this exam you're only given an like a on on screen calculator for the math section so that means for the chemistries and stuff you don't get a calculator you have to do everything on the calculation by yourself so uh, for the natural sciences the survey of natural sciences is 90 minutes long and it consists of 40 biology questions 30 general chemistry questions and 30 organic chemistry questions so yeah 90 minutes long and for this section it's a whole 90 minutes so they don't break it down into like 30 minutes per bio 30 minutes per section so you decide how much you want to spend on biology organic chemistry or general chemistry so for me I know like I sped through the biology section um, and then spent more time on the chemistries because the chemistries were like my weaker point so I knew that I needed more time for them and that's how I had practiced on all my practice tests so I knew that um, I spent like I don't remember how long but I spent less time on the biology even though it was 40 questions and I spent more time on the chemistries and then so yeah so it's 90 minutes long and then after that you move on to the um, perceptual ability test the perceptual ability test is 60 minutes long and I'll be showing you pictures of like what exactly is on there so it's 60 minutes long and you're given 90 questions Mm -hmm. 90 questions so you don't even get a minute per question it's less you get less than a minute for each question um, it's broken down into five segments so you have the apertures um, the top front end angle discrimination um, cube counting and then pattern folding so those are the six segments that the PAT perceptual ability test is broken down into so if you want if you want to break down you know spend your time evenly amongst all sections you would be spending um, 15 minutes on each is that right yeah 15 minutes on each section yeah I think I did the math right I don't remember but yeah 15 minutes on each question on each section yeah so these are the questions these are the pictures I'll be showing you and then after this you have the optional 15 minute break now I have to I forgot to mention but once you're done with the survey of natural sciences and you move on to perceptual ability test um, you can't go back to you can't go back to the previous section so once you're done with survey of natural sciences or your PAT you can't go back you're stuck in PAT and you have to finish that and it's time 60 minutes so that's up to you <laughs> but yeah so you're done with that and then you can take the optional 15 minute break or you can just continue and move on to the next section I recommend that you take the 15 minute break because that's the only break you're gonna get throughout the whole exam and like go take take a little walk for like five minutes breathe in and out clear your head drink some water um, use the bathroom if you need to eat a snack you know just to like refuel and come back and be energized to finish the exam um, Okay, so then when you come back, you have the reading comprehension section, and this is 60 minutes long. So you get three passages for the reading comprehension section, and each passage is about seven paragraph, paragraphs long, maybe like 
six to seven lines per paragraph. So you have three passages and you have to answer questions on each of them. So I guess each passage and its following questions will be like 20 minutes if you want to like allocate your time evenly between the three passages. About 20 minutes per passage and you have to read and answer the questions. Then after that, you move on to the last section, which is the quantitative reasoning, which is the math section. You get 45 minutes for 40 questions, and then you have the little calculator that they give to you while well, it's on the screen um, to use. The tricky thing is this calculator is not like the number keypad calculator you have on your laptop or computer. It's the click, click, click one using the mouse, so it slows you down. And I recommend that you try not to use it unless you really have to, like unless you really have to do like some division or multiplication that is quicker to use the calculator for. Otherwise, I mainly did a lot of the stuff by hand and then used the calculator to check my answers after I was done. But yeah, so this is the last section. And then you're pretty much done with the DAT. By that time, it would have been four and a half hours long, believe it or not. But yeah, four and a half hours. And then you just kind of like, you, I mean, right after you were given your results. So I just, after you answer the last question, the timer runs down, you get your results. So yeah, this is pretty much the DAT. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I will be able to answer them as best as I can. And all of you studying for the exam, good luck. If this is your first time, take it as if you're only taking it once. If this is your second time, hey, go at it hard and keep studying hard and you should be able to, you know, do well. Okay. Bye.